Hello, my name is Katie Adams and I am a Jamberry Independent Consultant and I'm excited to share with you my application process. I do it just a little bit different than others. I have done all of my nails except for one so that I can show you my application process. Okay, so I've already cut my nail wrap, but the tools that you would need, you would need your nail wrap as well as scissors to cut your nail wrap. A <laughs> went blank. A um, nail file. Nail file. <laughs> Thank you. Purple cuticle pusher, and you don't have to have it, but I also use a spoon, which is amazing for those parts that are you have little um, wrinkles. You can help to do that. I only have one. I did really good this time. So. I have different size of fingers, so I tried doing the application process the other way and I was forgetting which nail wrap to go on which finger. So for me personally, I cut them all out. I, you know, measure it on your finger and then I cut them out and I set my thumb through my pinky on each one and then I just work it my way. So what I do is I like to do the cold, uh, cold method where I take my, my purple stick and I, okay, if I can get a hold of it, I will show you. <laughs> it's not wanting to work. Give me just a second. Okay, there we go. So I get a hold of it. I peel it off. And then, of course, you throw that away. And I just lightly put it, well, I like to push my cuticle back a little bit, my, push my skin back a little bit. And then I set it on my nail, hopefully in a good spot. And then I turn the heater on and I count or watch it curl. I tend to do seven, eight seconds, sometimes 10. See, it's curling now. I don't know if you could see that it curled a little bit and so I just take it and I'll slide it this way right down the middle and then I just work my way down like so and same on the other side and then I will just kind of slide it down the side as well like that then I tend to pull it just to make sure that I've gotten it all out now the wrap that I'm putting on now, it's called Supernova Girl. Um, I'm actually putting this one on for my oldest daughter. She's getting ready to graduate on the 18th, I believe. And I like to tuck it underneath. That's just my preference. It's not required. You have to find the right process that works for you. And when you find the right process, it's going to be a lot easier to... Put them, put them on and have them stay. Then I heat my finger up just a couple more seconds and do it again. And this is actually where I would use the spoon. <clears throat> now, normally what I would do, I've already done my other nails, I just wanted to show you my process. So normally what I would do is I would continue through. When I get done with my four fingers, I would go ahead and, oops, wrong thing. I would grab, make sure I got the wrong thing. I would go ahead and grab my spoon and I heat my spoon up. I can't count to 10. I like to make sure it's hot so you could feel if it's, if you, you get where it's comfortable for you. I like, I like to have it hot. And then you just press it down like so and you pull pull it forward. If you see any um, any wrinkles or whatnot, you can just do that and then you press it on the side. And then of course you want to let it cool, obviously. Trying to let it cool before I actually like your light. That's awesome. 
Okay, so I think it's cool enough. Then at a 90 degree angle, <laughs> 90 degree angle, you want to file. Yes, my daughters are helping me. One's got a flashlight and one's got my, my camera taken. And as you do it, it should actually come, just, ouch, just scratch myself. It should come right off. I'll just kind of peel it. Now because this is for my daughter's per, uh, graduation, I'm actually using the base coat gel. Base coat gel and the top coat gel um, to, in a sense, seal it after I do this, which I have done with the other ones. As you can see, it's really sparkly compared to, I mean, this is sparkly and pretty, but it's not as shiny as the other one. And you just peel that off. It's close. It's almost close. There you go. And then you put that there. And you just check and make sure that nothing... You don't want the wrap to be sticking over because it will... For me, when I have the wrap sticking over, sometimes I even show a little bit of my... I do it just slightly off of the, the tip just so that it won't get caught on something or it won't rub and therefore it comes up because you don't want that you want it to last it it should last two weeks with the gel I've been told that it'll last three weeks which is exciting because this is really pretty this is actually the May style box um, pink pop I believe and I just thought it looked really cool with with her supernova girl bam and all I'm going to do is, I, uh, of course, use an alcoholic wipe. If you don't have ours, you can easily just use your alcohol, which is what I'm doing right now. And you just wipe it. And then, of course, after this dries for a minute, I will do the gel. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, application process. And have a nice day.